So one of my animal identification videos has been blowing up recently about the robber fly and there are quite a few people in the comments very insistent that it is not a robber fly also known as the assassin fly and is in fact a horse fly and sometimes a mosquito. It's not. Um, it is a robber or assassin fly but let's go over some of the differences. Now, to start off, to mention, all three of these insects are in the order Diptera. They are true flies, so they are all technically flies, however, they are pretty different. Now, this is the robber fly, also known as the assassin fly, the one that was in the video. Now, the features to look out for when identifying these is the kind of elongated abdomen, it is pretty long and pointy, as well as the very round thorax and the slightly pointed downwards head. Now, they are also rather big, typically between a centimeter and a centimeter and a half long, depending on the species, and they are quite bristly. They're kind of fuzzy, spiky. You can see all of those little hairs on them. And kind of a very important distinction is these flies are predatory and they only really try to eat other insects and they don't want to bite or really interact with humans. They're not flesh or blood eating like mosquitoes or horse flies and they only really will bother or bite you if you bother them trying to like swat them or if you accidentally squish them they don't really want to be around you and also importantly this identification doesn't fully hold true like i said in the video where i was identifying one of these there are some mimics so the identification doesn't really follow in every single case. Sometimes they could be mimicking things like bees, but this is kind of just in general. Now this is a horsefly. You can see it looks quite a lot more similar to what most people think of when you think of a fly. It's quite a lot more robust and stocky. It doesn't have that really long and thin abdomen. It's also more like proportional the whole way down instead of having the kind of smaller head, the really round thorax, and the long thin abdomen. It's kind of just like shaped all the way down. Now again, just like with robber flies, there are many species of horse flies, and this one does look rather similar to a robber fly. It is more of a robber fly mimic. However, you can still see it, it doesn't have that big rounded abdomen and really, really long, thin thorax. Nope, I got those mixed up. Round thorax, long, thin abdomen. Now, horse flies are also rather large. Depending on the species, they can range anywhere from half a centimeter to two and a half centimeters, but mostly fall around the one centimeter or so range. And horse flies are considered to be ectoparasites, meaning they are parasitic. They do want to bite you. They want to take chunks out of your flesh. So they will actively come around and try to bite you and it hurts. Unlike the robber fly where they're just kind of content to leave you alone, these guys want to fuck you up. They don't like you. They want to eat you. And finally, the mosquito. Now I'm sure everybody everywhere has been bitten by a mosquito at least once. Now, they are somewhat similar in shape to the robber fly. They do have that long, skinny abdomen and rounded thorax and downward pointing head. However, some main differences, their legs tend to be a lot longer proportionally and they have a much longer proboscis. That's the sucking apparatus. If you look at the robber fly, the legs are a lot shorter proportionally, they don't go up as high, and they don't really have that long distinctive sucking apparatus. And typically, again, this is not like a rule for absolutely everything, mosquitoes are a whole lot smaller than robber flies. They're not that big, and they're a lot more delicate. 
And again, they are considered to be ectoparasites like the horsefly. These guys actively want to take your blood, so they will land on you and harass you as I'm sure everybody knows. So basically, bottom line, yes, while all three of these things are potentially annoying and painful, they are very distinct species. They are not the same, even though they are all within the same order, and I was right.